Whoa, whoa, I, I forgot you don't have hair, Nick. That's so weird, but I'll get over it. Just start with the video and I will, I'll be able to eventually hear what you're saying. But right now I can't get over the fact that for some reason you have no hair and before you did have hair. So that's weird, Nick, but go ahead. By the way, that's my impression of you. Still getting used to me without hair. If you're not understanding why I did this, I made a video to explain the reasons why I did it. So with no further ado, let's get started and let's try to get through this video without being too distracted by the fact that I don't have hair. All right, so I received a comment on a video I made called Watch Me on TV on this time next year on the Lifetime Network. Uh, the name of the episode is called Dudes from Different Latitudes where I try to find my doppelganger, which I clearly look less like now that I don't have hair, but that's okay. Stella May is so involved in my channel, watching a lot of my videos, commenting a lot. Here's what Stella May had to say, quote, you actually look more like Max from the TV show Catfish. Look him up, just ignore the silver hair, end quote. So I did, I looked him up, never heard of him, uh, but Max Joseph is the name he goes by. Um, and he actually is Jewish. I looked him up on Wikipedia. You can always, of course, not, if you're watching my videos on ethnicity, then you already know that. That's kind of what started our, uh, you know, started feeding our hunger. A decade ago, when, when it got on Wikipedia, we could just go to whoever it was and it'd say their ethnicity or ethnic background. So he is Jewish. I've never heard of him. He and I, in this moment, are the same age. He's 36. I'm 36. Um, I'm, I'll be turning 37 in April, but for about three months of every year, he and I will be the same age. So currently, Max Joseph and I are the same age. He's Jewish, and I'm part Jewish, according to my mom's test, but not my own. My sister, she shows up as Ashkenazi Jewish, just a couple percent. My mom shows up 15.2% Sephardic Jewish, whereas mine just showed up as Iberian. I think it got lumped in there with the Iberian. On my test, the Sephardic Jewish showed up as Iberian. And I think that's what was going on there. Um, because that explains also how I show up as more Iberian than my mom. Like I, I'm like, I think like 32% and my mom's like 22%. So how does that happen? Well, again, I think the Jewish part has something to do with it. And yeah, I guess eventually I should probably take 23andMe or some other brand so we can try to find out a second opinion on how Jewish my DNA actually is. But I've been compared to a, a person who is Jewish. I've looked at his picture and I could see the resemblance, especially back when I still had hair, which I will have hair in the future when I grow it out. But right now I'm Nick Shell and I feel like doing whatever I want to. And right now I feel like getting rid of my hair. That's just how I am sometimes. And sometimes I like to challenge myself and think, so many men are afraid, especially men who still have hair, they're afraid to get rid of their hair. But I'm not, I'm brave, I have courage. If I wanna get rid of my hair because I feel like it, I do it. Now, so I guess what I'm, the takeaway from this video is that I do look Jewish. Um, it's interesting because also with hair, uh, I, I look like Fred Savage who played Kevin Arnold on The Wonder Years. And also people have also compared me to his younger brother uh, who was Corey Matthews on uh, Boy Meets World. So Ben Savage. So I've been compared to, even the height wise, I'm like five, eight, five, nine, the same height as them. And I've been compared to them. Even as a kid, I look like uh, uh, Fred Savage. So they're Jewish. That's the whole point of this. They're, they're Jewish. Um, I'm a little bit Jewish according to my mom's DNA test and my sister's as well. So, uh, I guess I'll close the video by saying thank you for telling me that uh, I look like this guy because I didn't know that. Um, you know, try to imagine me with hair again and uh, you know, try to look up this guy, Max Joseph, who's Jewish. Um, in closing though, uh, what do you think? Even without the hair, because hey, there's a lot of Jewish guys that don't have hair. They shave off their hair. Uh, can you see the Jewishness in me without the hair? I'm just curious. Uh, I am, I, I've already made one video, but like, I'm just curious, like ethnically, do I, does it sh sort of like shift how I look ethnically now that I currently don't have hair? Of course, you know, once I eventually have hair again, then we can have it. But I think even as a male with, with or without my hair, I think maybe that could shift the focus. Uh, if I didn't look so Jewish before, do I look any more 
Jewish now that I have a zero guard buzz. So thanks for the comment. Please comment so we can keep this conversation going because I think it's very interesting.